Okay guys, today's the day. I got Kevin here sitting on a chair as usual. I just had five hot dogs. So he's about as useless as a poop and flavor lollipop. So we're gonna tarp this piece Hi, Glenn. of- Hi Anyway, we're gonna tarp this turd. The garbage after. Okay. Reveal. Okay. Don't show too much of the engine right now. I've been pilfering parts off it. That's okay. But yeah. That's okay. It's not every day you see a carburetor that's crooked. Well, because I didn't have a hauler or anything and it doesn't take a cue jet, so I put that on. But I did tape it up though. That's okay. And uh, the manifolds I did take off today because I needed gaskets. <laughs> it's a long story, but I'll explain later in the video. The next thing, what are you going to do with that engine? This engine? Yeah. I ah, will figure something out. It's a good running little small block, so we'll show you what's replacing it shortly. All right, let's uh, push this turret. I guess you can man the steering. Yeah, I believe so. I got you. You got nothing. You're going to push. We So yeah, all this will have to come off road again. And... Okay guys, we just finished supper, but this is what how I roll. First ever barbecue Bismarck bun. Simply take a hot dog bun. Usually I like to hollow them out, but we won't for this purpose. <laughs> you take some barbecue sauce. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Feel free to use this, guys. It works great. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And like I said, usually I use a hamburger bun and I crimp the ends. Like, see, the hot dog bun doesn't really work the greatest. But for purposes, that's a lot of freaking <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> uh oh. Where am I over my head? <laughs> Cut! <laughs> it worked better. <laughs> better in the hot dog bun the other day. Oh. Yeah, hamburger. Yeah, hamburger. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back at this one dripping on your shirt. Not yet. We'll be back. <laughs> well guys, back on the old Pontiac. It's been a couple days. Um actually I've ordered a bunch of parts for it. Uh my rad just came in, I'll show you guys that. And I ordered a new all everything brand new uh three link for the rear end. So that's all everything's gonna be brand spanking new. I've got the coil springs, I got the shocks here, but I ordered everything else, so that'll be at the border next week, so I'll pick that up. But Here's my new fancy rad, three core. So that came in. And I guess let's talk about this. Uh, I kind of accumulated parts over the winter and built a small block. So it's nothing crazy. Uh, it's just a 350. It's been uh, bored 30 over and like it's got decent pistons. Nothing crazy. Uh, roller rockers, it's got a mild camshaft, nothing crazy, so should be yeah, around the 300 horse anyway. The heads were done a long time ago, so like I said, this is stuff that I've had laying around and whatnot and whatever, so it's 650 double pumper and all that stuff, so. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it in. I'm always nervous doing this stuff, 
we've had some bad luck some actually pretty successful so it's not an issue I, I just put the distributor in roughly timed it or like it's roughly where it's got to be i'll fill up the bowls for the carburetor uh, i filled it up with uh good quality oil with a lot of zinc and all that stuff so we'll uh hopefully won't have an issue now uh, i did early before i put the screw and i spun it and made sure i had good oil pressure so that's all good i did that the other day so so i guess uh, i'll top it up with some water here and uh it'll be a nervous 15 20 minute uh, break in so everybody actually brian was telling me the other day a lot of times i'm just gonna ramble here for a minute a lot of times you know people hear you're wiping out cams and everything like that they said the lifters or whatever ryan was telling me it's the manufacturers of the camshafts a lot of them he was saying crane no longer makes theirs they outsource it or something like that he, said, he explained it to me the other day like there is problems with lifters but uh this is some of the older stock that i've had in for many years so it should be a little bit better quality so so oh yeah oh pardon me these are the headers i'm going to be running actually i bought them for marketplace they're basically brand new they're actually for this car for the x-frame so that's why i've got they've got the kick out so that's why i'm gonna run them so that's awesome so i was really happy <laughs> believe it or not like i just put regular bolts in here for here because i don't have enough of the header bolts but these were the nicest ones to go in they actually tighten up it's super nice so so yeah that's pretty exciting you know how everything goes with the headers you fight and fight and fight and so i guess enough rambling i'll set the tripod up i'll prime the carburetors and we'll fire this thing up we'll uh set the uh tack at about 2000 and uh we'll go from there it's a shame the neighbors are out so i'll uh maybe fire it up for a minute then i'll close the door here and suffocate myself so we'll see so stay tuned i'm gonna set her up and uh wish me luck folks Okay guys, the carb is primed. Like I said, my distributor is roughly timed right now. I'll do that afterwards. Um, got oil pressure, all my vacuum lines are done. I've got fuel. So yeah, uh, I do. Hopefully it fires right off the bot. I'm gonna, I've got a screwdriver. I'll set my tack roughly at 2000 RPM ish and then I'll uh, when it, after a while, I'll break it in different heights or uh, different RPMs kind of deal, but roughly in that area. Uh, yeah, so. Go.
Okay guys, uh, it's been about clearly about 18, 19 minutes that I had it running in according to my phone. So yeah, so we're good. So like I said, I'll let it cool down, then I'll, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, adjust the timing. I'll do that in a little bit afterwards, but I'll let it cool down and then uh, check everything. And like I said, good practice later on, we'll obviously drain the oil, but I'm gonna take the filter, cut it open, and just inspect, make sure there's no shavings. So. Doesn't appear to be anything out of the normal. So hopefully we got a good winner. Like I said, I was a little hesitant off the beginning, but I, uh, like I said, my timing's not exactly probably spot on. And like I said, I'm not exactly a fan where I put my spark plug wires, but later on I'll have them coming up. So we've got a nicer set, but these ones are just for right now. So, so yeah, pretty happy. All right, everything seemed to be uh, making no noises, so that'll be all right. So. But yeah, so I'll let this cool down and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, pretty happy. So I think we got a winner here. So uh, yeah, so stay tuned, folks. We'll be back in a minute. Hmm. Major problems here, folks. Major problems. Actually, not really. I just wanted to pull the velcro covers off just to see if there's anything out, uh, out of the ordinary. But everything seems to be fine. So... So everything seems to be where they gotta be. Likewise with this. So uh, like I said, they're just a roller tip 1.5 rocker. Uh, the cylinder heads are just like an 882. They're not the greatest cylinder heads by any means. They're not gonna set the world on fire. But for this project, it's gonna be fine. Like I said, it's not gonna be a race car. It's just gonna be a nice cruiser with a little bit of pep, you know, nothing crazy. But you know, I, my goal is for when this car is up on the road that you know, you can just, like most of the cars we have build, just hop it in and go, no problems, you know, so. That's my goal. So I, like I said, I think it's got like a crappy 308 gear and I think, don't quote me, but I'd like to get at least like a 340 or a 342, somewhere on there, like I said, just a nice highway car, that's it. Not uh, going drag racing. So I will button these, uh, put the valve covers back on, do a little bit more work. Um, I originally was gonna be in this video, I was gonna start ripping the rear end apart, like all that stuff, cutting it all out, but I'll wait till next week just in case if, I, if I've got to get something out of the garage or whatever. Like I said, it's not going to be a big deal to cut the, all that crap out. Ryan did make a good point the other day. We should have did it last year when the body was off the frame. But I'm doing the money thing, people. So I guess enough rambling. I'll go butt this thing back up. But uh, yeah, like I said, I just pulled the uh, cover off because I just didn't want to make sure uh, nothing was, you know, bad. So, so yeah. And uh, I did notice one of my spark plug wires did kind of burn. It, uh, She's a little foibled right there, so that's probably why every once in a while you uh seen a little shot of fire out there. So, so I'll button this back up and uh, we'll be back in a minute. After uh, <clears throat> putting the oil covers back on, I just was pondering and thinking. Like I said, I don't know any of the history on this car, but I bought it at the swap meet last year for a couple hundred bucks from a buddy. Probably sat on his shelf for who knows how many years. Like, So like I said, when I get this thing uh, timed, I gotta actually figure out how to put my wire to the coil. So I'll talk to Boog about that or Chris tomorrow and then see about timing this thing. But like I said, this, uh, the car, I know absolutely nothing about. Like I said, who knows how good it actually is. So that could have been a little bit of my firing up problems or whatever. So uh, I don't think I have any other good carburetors around, but that's the best what I've got for right now anyway. So what I think I'm gonna do uh, is move that tarp. But uh, maybe go wash the old El Camino and uh, it's pretty dirty. But uh, clean these stupid looking, uh, or not stupid, but uh, my little hubcaps, they sure rust. So I think I'm gonna go do that for the evening. And then we'll call it an evening and we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, like I said, maybe tomorrow it's supposed to be nice. If, if it isn't raining, we'll maybe yard out that motor. Uh, I'm still gonna keep the four speed in it because it's got a new clutch and everything like that. And the pedal, I still gotta make my Z bar. So I've got everything to make it. So I just gotta kind of customize it. And uh, yeah, I'll put that engine in the back burner for somewhere. Hey, maybe for the 62 uh, Impala, there you go. So, all right, I'm gonna go clean some hubcaps and uh, drink a Coca-Cola and ponder my thoughts. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, funny thing is, guy actually, me and Derek were talking about it. The guy actually messaged me. He wanted to know if I still wanted the rear bumper. And I said, yes. So I'm going to go next week and uh, I guess Derek and I will go 
and take it off the guy's car. So it's actually really nice shape. So way better than what I've got. So, all right, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, guys, I think we're, we're going to end the video. We just came back from the swapping. I know I promised that we're probably going to take out the rear suspension today, but it's nice out now, and I think we're going to go for ice cream. But I'll show you what we bought, or what, what I bought at the swap. I don't think you bought Oh, you did buy something. Oh, I did too. What, yeah, you bought a, what is it? I bought a 1970 Fury bumper and grill and headlights. Just for, because it was $20. And it's in very nice shape. It's actually very nice shape. Will we ever use it? No. It's Will you sell it next year? Probably. Possibly. It might go on a wall. I don't know. What'd you buy? It cost me 20 bucks. Uh -huh. I got the moon tie. Uh, oh, Earth yeah. You oh, bought yeah. a moon eyes tack. Yeah. Yeah. That I'll probably end up buying off of anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and what I bought here is some of the gems. Chris, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> bought a 650 carburetor. I assume it'll need rebuilding, but the price was right. So. Everything seems to be all right, so the guy said shelf wear, which means rebuild. Yeah, so price price right. Right. Okay, we'll go through this. The Outlaw. I got like three of these. I built one years ago. It broke, so I just threw the thing in the garbage. I spent a lot of time building, but I got so frustrated, so I threw it in the garbage. So I got like two or three of these now. So I should build it. Actually, I am starting to get back into models. Another rat fink. Apparently some sort of action figure hmm. with Apparently pizzas. So. Pretty fat thing. Yep. Another Willie's model. Actually, I didn't even see it to see if this thing's even in there. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, it's new. Ooh. So nice. Will I build it, people? No. Ooh, look at those cheesy flames. Hot rod. Yeah, hot rod already. Actually, some of these came with the hot rod sticker. No. Remember the. Oh, aha! It did. It did. Yep. So yeah, actually they used to come with a bigger version of both that size. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the ones back in the 90s. Price was right. Yeah, price was right. Yeah. This, I don't know why I bought it for 10 bucks. Like the other game, oh, it's all complete. So, yeah. And creme de la creme. This is sitting on the shelf. Henry J. So yeah. The guy did warn me and he felt bad that the hood emblem's missing. He said it might be in there somewhere, but he's not sure. So I'm like, I'm not too worried. So yeah, pretty stoked about that. Paid 60 bucks for it. Really happy. Oh yeah, bought other crap. Oh yeah, see I did clean up my car. Rear. Rear. It was clean-ish. But yeah, some uh, Bruno Lug Craggers, some 15 by 8s. They'll clean up nice. Just a little bit of surface rust. And some uh, small block Chevy uh, headers. Super solid, just need a good sound blasting. They say Doug's headers, but I'm thinking that could have just been a sticker back in the day. Who knows? I don't yeah, well, care. They got thick flanges, yeah, I'm happy with flanges, that. Yeah. Oh, and another big, big purchase. I'll pick it up this week sometime, guys. It'll be in the next video. Bought another small block Chevy. A uh, buddy that builds engines, really good price. It's close to, it's dying close to around 480 horsepower-ish and I think 450 foot-pounds of torque, 440, somewhere in that area. So do I need it? Absolutely not. But you know what? Guess what's going in? Even though I got an engine for that thing, that's where this new motor is going to be going in. So there's, it's going to open a whole new can of worms. So we're going to have to figure out how to modify and get rid of the two-piece drive shaft. There's a gentleman that sent me a link before about how he did it, modifying it to get rid of the two-piece, to have a one-piece, how he modified the X-frame. So, uh, So that means we're going to be learning how to do it. Yeah, we're going to learn how to do it, eh? And it just means more monies. I couldn't go around with the engine. He said I didn't have to buy it. He said somebody else was going to buy it, but I got a really good buy on it. So, as per usual, so, yeah, so that, other motor in the stand could go in that 62 or who who knows what's going to go. So, so yeah, I keep buying crap, but I'm running out of room. And my bank account's going to get smaller. Mm -hmm. I did have plans of buying a disc brake conversion for uh, the 55 and the 58. So that still might happen just not as soon as I wanted. Another day. Another day. So, oh, and this week coming up, we got to go up to Bozier to go get a rear bump. Oh, over there. Yeah. Actually, just by Kindle. That's not far. No. 
So anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave this video. I promise next video I'll have my uh, rear suspension and all that crap here. So uh, we'll start on that, I promise. And then probably yard that motor and tranny out. And... Mm, it's life. Uh, yeah, I got issues. I think we all have issues. Yeah. Actually, I didn't even see what the other side of this chrome cracker looked like. Oh. To be honest. Oh, it's even nicer shape. Oh. Nice. Okay. So, actually, the that funny a big thing deal. Is, I can't remember the gentleman's name. Super nice guy. I met him last year at the strip. I'll just take a minute of your guys' time here. Anyway, he walks up to me, Corey, how's it going? He, he just, uh, introduced his name, and honestly, I'm bad with names. He goes, yeah. He goes, I, I had the Munns t-shirt. I'm like, oh, I remember. And I said, I got two Munns uh, root beer t-shirts now. He's like, yeah, I got some rims for you for sale and some other parts. So, anyway, it was just neat. I can't remember the gentleman's name already. He had a nice Vulcan or yeah, really Ford did. car. Yeah, uh, Comet, yeah. Or a Catalina or a Comet. One of those two, but it's super nice. Yeah. So, anyway, I guess we're going to leave this video. Sorry, that wasn't very much, but I'll figure out something to do with that other small block. Well, yeah, in the next video, we will see another small block here and we'll fire it up. It's... I've already heard it run and everything when I was at his place the other day, so it was super nice. I mean, it sounded really nice. Um, seems like kind of a waste to put it in that thing. But, well, well, whatever. So remember, guys, you can't pick your friend or you can't pick your family's beak. Oh, shut up. I'll leave it at that. We'll see you on the next one, guys. I choked. <laughs>